What is death like? I don't know. I didn't die yet. <laughs> I, didn't die. I didn't die yet. Subhanallah. And my lecture wasn't about death. I mean, I can't talk about that, brothers. That's another subject, inshallah. It said, uh, if you love someone, a girl, so, so much. <laughs> it's already a problem. I can see right now. I didn't read the whole question, but it's, it's starting out like it's a problem here. Okay. If you love someone, a girl, so, so much, and you can't get married just yet, and at the same time you want to be a good Muslim and not break the law of Allah, what should you do? Well, first of all, the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned that if you're a young man and you can't get married, then you should fast. The other thing is, you shouldn't be around that person who you love so, so much. <laughs> That's like being in a, cake, in a kitchen with a chocolate cake that you love so, so much. <laughs> and your mother and father, they, they, they leave and go to work and leave that cake on the table that you love so, so much. <laughs> you know? And you upstairs, and that cake is down, downstairs on the table that you love so, so much. <laughs> And you come downstairs and you look at the cake. So, so much. <laughs> and you don't cut the cake. You just reach out and just take a little piece of chocolate and put it in there and run back upstairs. Well, once you get that chocolate in your mouth, that's it. <clears throat> because you're going to like that chocolate cake more than so, so much. And chances are, by the time your parents get home, there's going to be a slice out of that cake. And that means that you ate a piece of it so, so much. <laughs> well, the same thing happens with, with girls and boys. If they spend the improper time without supervision against the sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam, and they're allowed to talk to each other on them phones so, so much, and they're allowed to visit each other and see each other in school and in the streets and on the bus stop and in the cafes so, so much, then it's not going to take no more than about six months to a year before something happens so, so much. So fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and whoever's daughter it is, you need to respect her and leave her alone. You don't even have a right to write to her. You don't have a right to call her on the phone. You don't have a right to do anything more than what one of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu did. Maybe you might could stand down the street when she comes and hide behind a tree and just look at her. <coughs> That might be allowed for you to do. So stay away from that young lady. Talk to her parents. Talk to your parents. Make some plans. And if you're old enough to adopt responsibility and you got a room in your house, ask your parents to allow you to marry this girl that you lo love so, so much, even if you're in school. And it's better for her to be in your room married and the two of you 15, 16, 17, and, and for you to love her so, so much married than for what may happen if you don't. That's what I can advise you to do. And I mean, that's just being real. Now, if the parents of this young man are, are here, you should listen and talk to your child and what they're saying here because they could wind up in a problem. Because it seemed to me he might be on the verge of breaking the law. So, so much. <laughs>